hello what's up everybody how is it going welcome to another video of tutorial series learning laravel from scratch i'm your host anur ali and i'm here today with a new topic and the topic is using laravel's auth in order to generate the entire login system including registration forget password or let's say remember me token and all those stuffs that laravel provides provides by default so this was the thing that we did last time we set up our project we learned some of the uh, basic project structure of laravel and if you notice last time when i was demonstrating you the project structure there was a model called user already built in for us at the same time inside a database there were some migrations already built in for us so if you remember i told you migrations are some of the uh, one of the class uh, some of the classes of uh, uh, Laravel that allows us to create tables. I told you that we generally don't, don't create table from the uh, phpMyAdmin or any SQL clients anymore. Uh, in Laravel we write the migration and we push those uh, tables into the, our repository and whoever clones the system they can just run the migrations and the tables are into the system already. So this was something that we learned last time. Uh, so in Laravel, whenever we want to build a, or create a table, we generally uh, create the migration and whenever we want those tables or the migration in the form of table, we just run a command through our terminal or console and the table is already there into the system. So if you see here, by default Laravel provides us two migrations and these are generally used for creating users table and the table which are related to the users so create users table is responsible uh, to create the table called users i will not explain in detail about migration in this video because uh, this is i'm not uh, intending to explain about migration right now right i just want to sh demonstrate you how easy it is it is to create the login system using laravel in future we will be creating our own migrations in order to build different tables so we will be, we'll, we will be discussing about migration in detail in coming videos but today i just want to tell you that this migration is a class that is responsible to create table it has two functions if you see up and down so up table is responsible to create the table so this table this function is actually in this uh, class this function is responsible to create a table called users which has these fields I'll explain about these later on and down function is responsible to delete the uh, table uh, if it exists right so similarly we have another table another migration that creates the table called password resets and down is responsible to delete that table okay so we have these two migrations but if you see we uh, last time we create a uh, created a uh, uh, we created a, a database called project and mentioned uh, our database name as project also at the same time we set our db host to be localhost but this is not a good practice in laravel it will throw some error whenever we run the migration so it is always good to use the ip address instead of uh, localhost so our uh, ip for uh, db host is 127.0.0.1 okay uh, so this was it so once we uh, run the migration command from our terminal I will demonstrate it to you it will uh, communicate with our environment variable if we are in development environment and also if we are in production environment it will communicate with our database.php and check to see what is the database name so since we are in uh, development environment right now so it will communicate with our env and check to see the database name and once we run the migration it will create the tables in this database automatically so let us try so first of all in order to uh, uh, run the migration we need to reach to the project so our path is in my case in my case application application slash amps slash www slash project this is our path for the project in your case it could be c drive or d drive or e drive slash amps slash www 
slash project so it's all uh, on which uh, it's all up to your uh, operating system now once I hit G I uh, once I hit PHP artisan my word so we will using PHP artisan command in order to generate our stuffs in Laravel so in order to run migration we just run PHP artisan migrate so what this command does is this command goes through each and every migration uh, classes over here and run the up function of the migration so it will create the users table it will create the passwords table so there is a different command if you want to delete those table or if you want to reverse back which we'll be covering later on in future but right now in order to generate the table we generally use php artisan migrate but once we hit enter it will so uh, it will throw some error so if you see it is saying that syntax error or access violation 1071 specified key was too long so this is generally an error uh, that most of the uh, new developers to the Laravel get stuck in but if you search for this uh, error in Google you will get an easy solution to this so just uh, search for some of the character so up to here and search it in the Google okay, the first link I just clicked in the first link and it will give me some code over here so it is saying inside my app service provider so app service provider is inside providers so if you go to providers of app or app you will see there is app service provider just double click that open it and it is saying that I should write some code inside my boot function okay so inside my boot boot function I need to write this much of code copy and paste it over here and at the same time I need to use uh, the schema class so I'll just copy this and paste it over here okay so after doing this now my migration is ready to go but since I have already run the migration and it uh, interrupt the migration in middle and it had already created some table after running the, if you just refresh this now you will see there are two tables already created so just check them all and drop it for now and run the migration again okay so if you see if I run PHP artisan migrate again it will it will uh, it is running the migration so it is running the first migration create user user table and it migrated it successfully similarly it ran uh, create password resets table and it migrated it successfully so now if you see we we got now uh, two tables one is for migration it, it keeps track like which tables we have already migrated and which table we still need to migrate so once I create new migration again uh, and run the PHP artisan migrate it will not migrate these two tables because these are already uh, set inside this table that we have already migrated these two migrations so after we hit this command our migrations is ready okay so we, you don't have to worry much about it right now so just we are uh, setting up environment for our uh, login system so once we have done this now we have now we have two tables users and passwords resets ready so if you see users is blank and if you go to password resets it is also blank we don't have any user we don't have any password resets okay now I want you to open your command prompt again Let me just clear this out uh, command prompt again and type in command php artisan make colon auth so php artisan make colon auth is a single command that will build the entire login system and registration system and forward password and remember me token everything with just this single command so if you hit php artisan make auth and enter it says authentication scaffolding generated successfully so if you see this was our default page right now without any header but now if you refresh this you will see a header that says login and register if you click on login it has already built a beautiful login system for us along with the register <coughs> so let us try to register first so my name is Anwar Ali and my email address is info at the diary uh, dot com my password let us say one two three four five six confirm password one two three four five six and register I am registered 
now if I go back I'm already logged in if I there's already log out implemented over here I'm logged out if I log in again it will say uh, info at the code diary dot com and my password is one two three four five six uh, login and I'm logged in and log out I'm log out so you see just by one command we have already built our admin panel so by default our uh, controller it says login and now if you go to routes so which is inside app okay routes web.php it has already built the uh, routes for auth auth and this will uh, do everything for us now if you see in, inside our http inside our controller we already have a, a module called <coughs> auth inside here which is responsible for our login register reset password so if you see everything will work now if you if i click on forgot your password i enter my email and send password link it will send me the password link in my email address so everything is done for now all of our our system is just built by a single command okay so we i was showing you that my controllers are all here my model model was already built in over here and my views uh, and once I am logged in, it will take me to the home controller. If you see info at the rate at the rate code diary dot com, and my password is one two three five six, and login, it will take me to the home controller, and it, the home controller is already built in for us. And this middleware auth, I will explain about these later on in future. And the, uh, and my index function is loading the view home, and my home view is inside resource. If you see view. There is a home blade.php built in for us, and I'll explain about this structure later on. But today, my intention was just to explain you the process of creating the login system using Laravel auth command. So, PHP artisan make auth will do everything for us. So, first step we need to set up our migration I'm mean environment variable with the proper uh, host name and proper. A, a database configuration with the name of the database username password port and my um, IP address for the host so everything we've done secondly um, we need to um, modify our, our app service provider um, by adding this code and this code over here thirdly we need to run PHP artisan migrate which will generate the default migrations for us for the users uh, and it will create the table for us in the database and finally we need to run php artisan make auth and the login system is already there for us so tomorrow from tomorrow we'll be creating our own tables and creating more migrations and more tables uh, you can also give it a try yourself and and that was it for today i will see you guys tomorrow with the new video and the new topic till then have a nice time if you have any confusions regarding the video you can mention it in the comment and if you like the video don't forget to click on like button subscribe it share it uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow with a new topic till then goodbye